Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. And today, um, this is the last video um, in Tobias Craft. I know it's 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 been it's been sad. It's, it's going to be sad, uh, but we've been on the server for maybe a month and a half now. The server has existed for about a month and a half now. We've made so much progress in such little time, and I feel like that we rushed things a little bit. And I'm sorry about that, guys. Um, there's still some things that we could do, like kill the Chaos Dragon, but for that we're going to need the whole server on, and that's just going to take a long time. So before I get into the world tour, there is going to be a link in the description where you can actually download the world and then import it into your Minecraft folder. So then you can play it on a single player world or even host it on your own server if you so wish. Before we get into the video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and smash the like button down below. Greatly appreciated, by the way. And I'm sorry I haven't been uploading recently. I've been working on this video on and off for maybe a week now. And uh, I've been doing a new online schooling now. So that's, I, I, th I like it a lot more than regular school. I don't know about you guys. Let me know, let me know in the comments down below. Now, without a further ado, let's get into the video. So first of all, we're going to start off with a tour of Star Labs. I mean, it's not much. I mean, it's pretty massive, actually. It took us a long time to builds there is actually a like a three hour live stream on youtube you can skip through it if you want you can see us progressing on it um but i mean the whole roof was probably the hardest thing we made it out of all solar panels so this is the max tier solar panels on the server so it took us like about an hour just to get one of these solar panels and then we duped it with the duplication tree. So when you enter here, there's actually some security cameras that actually work too. I'll show you that in a minute. And uh, Austin wrote, private property can be killed while inside. So you got the SL for Star Labs, you know, we got the little entrance. And here we have our Emmy system where it actually is connected into Austin's TARDIS, which is right there. So it has interdimensional capabilities. So that's pretty cool. I mean, we got some repair talismans with a dark matter pedestal with speed in the back. So we can charge up and heal our swords and guns. So yeah, and here we got some stuff in here. We got, holy, 370,000 day licky minutes still going up. So in here, I have a password protected chest that can actually only be opened up by Superman's eye lasers, which is really crazy. So you literally, it's pretty much unstoppable to break unless, you know, you want to go craft Iron Man or Superman, sorry. But you can open this up with uh, the password. Um, and then there's a whole bunch of money in here. And as you can see, you have a camera monitor. So this is bound to six cameras. And if you right click, you can actually choose what camera you want to go to. We can go to camera one. I think, yeah, you can move with WAS so you can see around the base and you just crouch hit the crouch button to leave then you can right click and go to different cameras we can go to camera three which is actually one of the ones outside where you could see Exetra's house the spawn base up top left and the courthouse which we never really got to use but yeah there's the uh security cameras from security craft and then we have my TARDIS. We're going to go into my TARDIS here. We're not going to go into anyone else's TARDIS because who knows if they're even open. So, yeah, on this server, the TARDISes are pretty broken. Not like OP broken, but they're just, they just don't work. Sometimes it works for some people. Sometimes it doesn't. So, yeah, we got the main console there. Here we got some Dalekium and Chrono Steel, I think. Contron crystals uh, being made in there. Here is the power for pretty much the entire server, unless other people have, you know, their own power plants. But uh oh, they're not. Wait, no, they are working. Never mind. We got some more repair talismans and a chunk loader. Yes, chunk loaders are also working on the server. Here we have our metahuman power unit and suit assembly unit with a generator pretty much going on for infinite time. Um, up here, I think we have some stuff. Yeah, we have invisible, uh, immovable locks or objects. So you can actually remove, not these whole locks, these um, flat blocks with gravity guns. And so basically you can't remove them. So I just put them in here and just, but yeah. If you ever want to remove them, just take a gravity gun. I think it has to be supercharged though. So here Austin is providing me with octubal compressed cobblestone so I can make yellorium blocks, which uh, the yellorium blocks go into the tesseract which is this yellow stuff right here and power it here we had some like weird thing that i made oh yeah for like tech and stuff 
And here we had the power storage. So it can hold, each one of these can hold, I think that's 6.825 billion. So if you can, if so, if you combine all four of these, I believe that's like 37 billion. So it's, it's insane amount of energy. Over here, we have our Manicio farm, which you can actually go watch that video. And uh, yeah, we have like somewhere Tesseract thingy that, oh, Manicio essence, holy, that's full. And then here we got some duplicator tree wood. Very, very epic. We got a, uh, what is this called? Like a soul stone and it like uh, heals your hunger or something like that. And then we got a dark matter pedestal with a time watch. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the TARDIS. So let's move on here. So we have a gravity lift, which takes you up floor by floor. There's not really much. I mean, there's like a weird fibroid capacitor bank upgrade modifier. I don't really know too much about that. So this is the courtroom. I think it was Durbin. I can't remember his name, but I think someone built it. It has like the uh, this thing here for the judge. And then I think there was like a hammer or something you could put in this dark matter pedestal. And then someone, I don't really know how judges work, but... I think someone stands here and says stuff. So we got some Batman chairs, which are actually really cool because you can spin around in them. And I think Austin put some like armor stands and some suits on. So I think you can wear those as well. And oh yeah, the molasses door mods allows you to have moving doors. Really epic, by the way. Next, we have Fear Exetra's house, which me and him actually upgraded like last week or something like that. So what I did was I basically added some inverted purple lamps, which made it like go well with the color scheme and it looks really cool and it's a lamp so uh yeah you can go down these elevators to go to lower floors as you can see right here oh these zombie miners are coming after me and he has a secret layer if you crouch again under here where he has a whole bunch of octuple compressed cobblestone so if you do end up downloading the world for single player there's infinite emc down here and here's even more octuple compressed cobblestone. And so how you can get octuple compressed cobblestone is just uh, taking one and then using a duplicator tree. That's why he has two of them in here. But here I think was like a bunny like Easter egg farm where you can like get like Easter eggs or not Easter eggs. Sorry, just random eggs that you can spawn in. Spawn eggs. Sorry, that's the word. Next, we have the soon-to-be bank that I think Zombie Pigman was making, or Austin. He was making a bank, but he never really got back on the server to finish it. Oh, and my game just crashed. By the way, your game will probably crash while playing this, because uh, it's a pretty, pretty whack server in a mod pack. So yeah, beware if you do download this world, and you may crash a bit. So we're back after the crash. And uh, so this was, I believe, our mantis farm. We had like some sort of a powered spawner in here and it spawns in mantises. You just smack your real garden sword. It gets tons of XP. And or if you want, you could turn on the mob grinder, which is pretty OP as well. It is not super fast. I'm sure if you download the world, you can make a faster mob grinder of some kind. But yeah, that's a mantis spawner. Um, someone actually built a pathway. I don't know who it was, but thank you, by the way. So up here is the main spawn. This is where you'll spawn in the world. And uh, here we have tons of like, random stuff. You can take whatever you want. Uh, there's even like stuff that's good, like a squid zooka, like random epic stuff, like awakened draconium blocks, diamonds, we got some red matter stuff. Yeah, we got a ton of stuff. It's like there's even beds here where you can actually sleep. It's very, very nice. And now it's daytime. Next, we have Sturban's house. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Um, he has some pretty cool stuff. We got Soul Forge. We got some in Dark Matter pedestals with some time watches. Pretty OP. And I think he has a QED in here. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. He has a scanner thing, but is, since I am uh, the Flash or I'm a metahuman that has speed, you can actually unlock phasing so you can like walk right through people's builds and it's really, really OP. Holy, he got some uh, draconic chests, which actually hold a ton of stuff. As you can see, he has a pretty massive inventory. He did have an ME system here, but it's gone. I don't know where he put it, but that's all right. Now, if we come out here, uh, I think there was like a giant castle of some kind which is really, really cool. Uh, next, I think that someone like had some weird platform up here, which was like, okay, they definitely improved it last time, though from the last time I was on. Holy, what is this? Oh my goodness, child, all the extreme torches. This man's got chunk loaders everywhere. I think we found who's crashing the server, boys. Oh my gosh. 
So I just broke through the glass because I don't even know how to get in here, but this is actually really, really cool. Ah, uh, I think this is Sturban. I could be wrong. Crafting terminal. A ton of Octobulk compressed cobblestone. Dude, this man's got everything. Okay, well, shout out to Sturban for this base, if that was him. If it wasn't you, uh, if it wasn't you, Sturban, and you're watching this video, uh, and if you, the person who's building this, is watching this video, please let me know, and I'll make sure to give you a shout out in the comments. And then the final house on this series is uh, Brobro65, my friend Broden. He built this house. He's a really good designer. And he has, he used uh, carpenter's blocks and I think chisels something, chisel, yeah. So they look really cool. He has some really nice doors and stuff like that. So I'm pretty sure he had like an underground layer. I think he was Iron Man. Uh, oh yeah, right here. So there's an elevator shift and then you're down. Oh, he moved it. Okay. Well, he did have a ton of Iron Man suits. He was working on that pretty much the entire time he was on. We then have an ender portal here. You're probably wondering, how did we get that ender portal? Ender portal, sorry. Um, well, we did have something right here. It was like some sort of a uh, termite farm that dropped loot bags and it dropped the ender portal frames and we just put it on top of here. There's also a portal to the deep dark you can go in. I don't know if it still works. People were saying it was broken. Yeah, you might have to create another portal because it looks like it's broken. Um, we got some Kraken repellent. So there were actually one time I s accidentally spawned in a Kraken. I was just like chilling on the server. I was like, we were, we were building, I think, Exetra's house. And then I accidentally killed a squid because it was lagging my game or something. And then the Kraken appeared and it was like ooga booga. And I want to give a big shout out to everyone that played on this server. I hope you guys had so much fun. I know I did. If I do happen to make another mod pack... I will definitely share it with you guys because I know you guys uh, would probably love to play it unless maybe you don't, but that's all right. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really do miss Tobias Craft. I haven't played it in like probably a, maybe two weeks, but it's really nice to see that people are still on the server having fun and building amazing creations like that one up there. Thank you guys so much for watching the video and I'm actually going to be releasing a new video on, it was actually, it's like a meme edit I've been working on where it was actually a pistol only challenge, don't tell anyone. But yeah, the, you'll see that on the channel in just maybe a day or two. But uh, thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.